Hi, I'm Jack Hemingway with the Gardening Products Review, and today we're reviewing the Works WG-323 chainsaw. I've got the saw here. It has an actual guard over the um, bar and chain. Um, it has some interesting features on it. It has what's called an auto tension, which tensions your bar and chain by simply turning this knob uh, clockwise will tighten the chain and counterclockwise will loosen it. Um, we have our oil for our bar and chain oil cap right here. You can also see on this side that we have a window that shows the level of the oil. We have our safety button here. We've got a throttle button here. And underneath we have a battery, which is um, part of their 20 volt battery series. This happens to be a two um, amp hour battery. And the nice thing about the work systems is that virtually millions of tools that they've introduced into the marketplace have a 20 volt system. We did a series on their HydroShot, which uh, is actually a combination of two of these 20 volts, which creates a 40 volt system. In this particular application for the chainsaw and pole chainsaw, they use one 20 uh, volt, two amp hour battery. It's very easy to uh, slide the battery into the bottom of the um, saw itself. You just line up the rails and the battery here and you just push it in, give it a snap and it's held in place. Um, in order to take the battery out, you literally press down on this button here, this orange button and pull it out like that. So it's real easy to do. Um, it's lightweight and I wanted to show you one other thing here that on the battery itself you can actually tell how much power you have by pressing this red button here so we can see that we're at full power. Now we're going to put some oil into the saw. One of the safety uh, recommendations is whenever you're working on the saw is to actually take the battery out prior to doing any work. There is a cap up here that we unscrew. There's actually a window here to see how much oil um, we're actually going to put into this thing. Bar and chain oil is absolutely imperative. Um, without it, the actual chain itself will um, tightly rub against the bar and it will wear the bar and the chain out um, almost instantaneously. It's terrible not to run it with oil. The oil, so work says, lasts about uh, 10 minutes when you're cutting um, on a regular basis. So it's really important that you keep track of your oil reservoir and never run the thing empty while you're using your saw. I'm going to put some bar and chain oil in here. I actually like the um, premium Husqvarna bar and chain oil myself. I've used it for years. Um, it's really good stuff. So we'll add some oil to this and we'll get going. What I'm going to do to make sure that the actual oil is coming out of the automatic oiler in here is start the chainsaw and you can use a piece of cardboard. I actually have a piece of white paper here and um, after a few seconds you ought to be able to see the, the uh, oil spraying onto the white piece of paper. The saw weighs 6.8 pounds. The recommended use of the saw is always hold the back handle or rear handle in your right hand and hold the front handle in your left hand. What we also find here is a guard just in case the saw has a what's called a kickback where you put the nose of the saw into a piece of uh, wood and it actually kicks back like this. Um, this will help protect you and, and stop the saw from actually hitting you. One of the other features is that it has what's called bumper spikes. These are this uh, protrusions here. And these are actually used to leverage the saw when you're making cuts down through the wood. You'll actually put the bumper spikes into the log and leverage your saw down. It's just a leverage uh, device that helps you in the cutting process. And before we get going, let's just talk a little bit about safety. You can see that I'm wearing a uh, hard hat. 
Um, I will put in some earplugs in a minute for ear protection. I'm wearing a pair of safety glasses. Gloves are uh, really recommended. I'm wearing a pair of cut-proof pants. They also make a piece of clothing called chaps that will go over the top of your pants. It's really important that you wear safety gear when you are operating a chainsaw. They're marvelous tools, but they're very dangerous as well if you don't uh, have the proper safety equipment. The other thing that you don't want to do is cut near power lines. You want to leave a minimum distance of 10 feet away from any electrical carrier. That includes secondary power lines that come into your house, cable television lines, and even phone lines. When you start the cut, it's important that you start the chainsaw and have it on full throttle. That was pretty fantastic. Now I'm going to show you the use of the actual bumper spikes here and how they're used as a leverage point. So my final impressions on the saw is it's a terrific chainsaw. It's really light and easy to use. We would love to have you comment and like us and subscribe. We want to hear from you. I'm going to start out here with showing some of the features. Obviously, this is a um, chain uh, bar um, cover. Oh, let me start over again. Now I'm going to demonstrate the use of the uh, bucking teeth here. Oh, what did they call it? Hold on one sec. What they... Hi, I'm Jack Hemingway with the Gardening Products Review, and there's a car in the background.